Okay. Some people mourn their dead before they're even dead. I know I'll be super sad. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it can be hard, too, because, I mean, like, it's going to be a loss. It's going to be a loss for everybody, you know? What's that? What's Devil's Advocate about? I don't think I've I've seen it. The last movie I saw, I think, the other day I rewatched The Goodfellas. I think that was the last one. Actually, I could have swore I watched something last night. Oh. No, I don't know. Shoot, if it's got Al Pacino and Casino Reeves, uh, Al Pacino and Keanu Reeves, and hey, I might, I might have to check it out. Should I know I watched a movie last night? What movie did I watch? Or the night before last? It wasn't Goodfellas. I was laying down for this one. It's on Netflix. Huh. I don't really I don't really have Netflix, but I'll check it out. Oh, it's a bad movie. Okay. Oh, that was the movie I watched last night. I watched uh Kiki's Delivery Service by Studio Ghibli for like the first time. It was alright. It's bad and it became great. Oh, so it's like the room. Or the amazing bulk. There's no way I could take these guys on right now. Yeah, like the... Okay. So I will, I'll keep an eye out. Devil's Advocate with Pacino and Reeves. I don't think I'll have enough time tonight. I'll probably be signing off soon, actually. Believe it or not, Scott, this is my second stream today. I streamed for like six hours earlier, and now we're working on another two. We should stream the movie. <laughs> that would be a good idea. I don't think I. I don't think my. Uh... It's not the announcement. Oh yeah. See, I don't know if my Discord would be like. Oh, DMCA won't do jack. Cause you know if I'd stream if I were to stream a movie, I'd do it over Discord. Try circling around then bonfire. Firehead? Down. Curse head, therefore try left. Visions of light. It's locked. Because I wanted to... I wanted... Ooh, here we go. I wanted to stream... Uh, what's it called? Yakuza Apocalypse. Over Discord. But I, I don't I didn't think enough people would like... Want to watch it. So I never ended up doing it. I mean, I've seen the movie before. So I know it's batshit crazy. And I enjoy it. But, like, I didn't, I didn't want to be sitting there talking to myself, you know. Plus, I don't know, like, I think you have to have a very, I don't know. If it's a movie that I've seen before, then I'd feel comfortable streaming it. But if it's a movie that I've never seen before, then, like, I like to pay attention to the movie. And, like, I know from experience that... Having people, uh, having people, um, with you when you watch a movie usually doesn't end well. No scorching iron scepter in inventory. Okay. 
Need to watch Perfect Blue again. I'm Satoshi Khan. Who's that? Uh, Magic Stone. I want to do at least one boss before we quit. Uh, I'm glad we got as far as we did. But still, I want to fight. I want a real fight, not none not, not, not of this ganking shit. Try attacking. Oh, shit. I like how this bitch is just like, nothing personnel, kid. Satoshi Khan was the director of Perfect Blue, Paprika, and a few other... Pre I've heard of Paprika. Perfect Blue, I don't... quite know. Was Perfect Blue the one with... The, with... Uh... What's his name? What's his name? LL Cool J and the Sharks? I know I, I know I just fucked up bad. <laughs> I know I just fucked up bad. It ain't no sharks. Think of a deep blue. Okay. I knew something was up with what I was saying. What's the point of this little area? Also, Samuel L. Jackson. No, no, LL L Cool J was in a, a shark movie. Wasn't he? I've got a Christmas card from an old friend of mine to prove it. Oh, I missed a lever. At least I think it was LL Cool J. There we go. Where is that card? I'd have to go and dig it out. I don't know if... Damn it. LL Cool J was... Oh, also is in, he was in it as well. Okay, I see what you're saying. Sammy gets eaten by a shark. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty normal for, Sam, for Samuel L. Jackson nowadays. He gets eaten by a shark. Poor bastard. Shit, if I get eaten by a shark, that'd be a good day. I'd be like, I got laid from a shark. Oh, wait, did you say eaten or eaten out by a shark? Because I feel like that's an important distinction. God damn it. They don't need teeth. They just... So they, they, oh, wait. I'm a dude. So, they, I, yeah, I do have to be concerned about the teeth. What the hell am I talking about? They don't have a tongue? How the hell do they get by with no tongue? How do they taste stuff? I'm like, you gotta have a tongue. I think it's time to stop streaming. <laughs> no, not yet. 
They just swallow. No, they gotta be able to taste stuff. What kind of an what kind of poor uh, animal? What kind of poor animal? It's so deprived that they don't even have a ta sense of taste. Come on. Come on. I really do not like these lightning people. The animals have been around since the dinosaurs. I don't think they cared about food and taste. But like the blood though, right? They were super into blood and stuff. They're like something out of Bloodborne. Come on, you leather contraption. Oh, shit. A gimp I yes. He is a gimp meister. I must pull this. And this. No, 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 no. Aha. Uh -huh. <sighs> There's a fog gate over there. Try jumping. Why do they always want me to jump off a cliff? Bonfire head and short detour. Liar head. Oh, this must be the gate. Yes. Yes. Dried root. Whoop de frickin' da, don't give up. Okay. Yeah that never give up, guys. Trust your instincts. Like Fox McCloud and Scooby Doo. <laughs> okay. We've turned everything around. Let's recover our S system. We'll probably need it. Cause I don't know what's gonna be ahead. What, you don't remember Star Fox sixty four? Fox McCloud? His, his dad is all like, trust your instincts. Man, I love Star Fox 64. That's a good game. I wish I was playing Star Fox. What do you mean Star Fox? Wait, Star Fox wasn't in Scooby-Doo? It might actually be time to stop streaming soon. It might be. I can't keep my stories straight. Treasure head. Look carefully. Try bravery. What? I did it. Lightning therefore head ahead. Okay. Whatever. Let's go. The hell? No boss? Kind of want to move to New York or Japan. Is that weird? A little bit. Japan, I could see. New York, I don't know. Right now is a bad time for New York. Too expensive. A lot of political stuff going on. I mean, it's probably a fine town. What the hell? I'm from Utah, so it'll be different. I mean, I've never been to New York, too, but, like... 
Just saying, like, right now it's probably a bad time, and the pro property taxes would probably be higher. New York might be fun, though. Japan, though. Japan would be, like, a good vacation spot. I don't know if it'd be fun to live there. I mean, what am I saying? Of course it'll be fun to live there, but... They, they don't take too well to Gaijin. I mean, like, they got that reputation like they might. In theory. But in practice, I don't know. And for me... I don't know. I mean, like, a lot of people go there to find a Japanese bride or whatever. No, no, Gaijin. You know, foreigners. They don't, they don't like foreign people. I mean, like, I'd go over there to get, like, a Japanese bride, but I'm not, like, I'm not that attracted to Japanese women. I like anime women. But like Japanese women, I don't know. I'm not. It just. I guess it would have to be a particular one. Who the hell is Quick Sword Rachel? Think they don't like foreigners because we are the worst tourists? That's funny because we got the Japanese tourist stereotype over here. But that's a possibility, too. But keep in mind, like, by foreigners, they just... It's not necessarily just Americans. They just don't like Gaijin in general. Very insular people. And you know, though, I don't think you'd even be able to get... We are the worst? I don't know. I've never really been a tourist before. I mean, I believe it. But I've never been a tourist before, so I don't know. Uh, hold on, I gotta get this. I like how he politely- oh god. I guess it's a she, not a he, but... Ow. I don't like this. This sucks. There we go, there's one. Executed bitch. Ow. Stop it, stop it. Stop it. I'm trying to live here. Ah. Tired of your shit. Quick sword, Rachel. Okay, there we go. But yeah. I mean, like... Y you find trouble getting, like, a girl over there. I mean, like, I imagine you would. Especially because, like... They got tons of Hikikomori Hiki over there, too. Which is basically their version of shut-in incels. And they can't really do nothing, either. So it's like... Recollection. Twinkling Titanite. Why? Okay. Quick Sword Quinn. Is there another one? Please tell me there's not another one. Uh. 
Alright. Man, I should have taken a day off and read something, but I don't feel like reading anything. I, it's been a while since I read a comic or a manga or anything like that. Loss of stamina head. Okay, makes sense. Oh, they do suicide. I am not going to make it, guys. We're not going to make it. No, we ain't going to make it. We're not going to make it. I'm going to fucking die. Oh, is he a... I don't like that he was on fire. Reading a few good books. Do I like Scooby-Doo? Yeah, I like Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo is pretty cool. I don't know. I mean, like... I, I was in the middle of reading a book about Nixon. Just for shits and giggles. Uh, then I, uh, I kind of stopped reading it. I haven't gotten back on the horse yet. Secret ahead. Yeah, I like Scooby Doo. If you ask if I like the new Scooby Doo movie that just came out, though, I'm gonna take a hard pass on that one. Although I did like Dick Dastardly in it. Dick Dastardly was nice. But the new Scooby Doo movie was kind of. What the? One thing I don't like about having this. Oh, hey, thank you, Light. Phonics? Light Phonics? Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that, man. Uh, I apologize if I mispronounced that. It, it, it looked like Phoenix at first glance. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, yeah, thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate that. A book I liked, but the ending came apart is Meddling Kids. It's what if Scooby-Doo was real. What their life would be like. Really? How'd that work out? Ooh. Yeah, how'd that work out? Visions of Misfortune. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. I'm being pursued by some hellfire beasts. I don't want to run, run away too much. Okay, there we go. Oh, come on. Come on, you assholes. Let's go. Book focus on Velma and Daphne more than the other characters. I wish you followed them all equally. I don't know. I mean, like, Velma and Daphne as a pairing. I mean, I could see that. Uh oh. Oh. This probably wasn't about that sort of thing. But yeah, I mean, like, Scooby and Shaggy. Ready Player One is getting a sequel. See, I have hot takes about Ready Player One. I am not, I, I read the book. I, I read the book. Maybe the movie is different. But, I did not care for Ready Player One. I mean, yeah, the virtual reality and stuff was nice. But I, I feel like... I, I, I've <laughs> I, I felt like it, it wasn't really that in-depth of a novel. Like, I, I don't think he really... Uh, 
explore the concepts as as deep as I thought it would have been interesting. But basically, what also killed me was that like every other paragraph, he name dropped like five or six franchises. Like, okay, dude, we know, we know you were into shit as a kid. We know you were into shit as an adult. It doesn't matter. You could, might be able to name drop all these franchises, but come on, man. I mean, like, if he had kept it to, like, one or two scenes, like, the scene at the end, where he, he gets, like, the, the mega robot to go fight the other mega robot when he's, going for, when he's going up against that one other guy for the grand prize. If they kept it to that, that'd be awesome. But then, like, there's, there's segments where he just name drops like six or seven franchises in one in one paragraph it's like okay come on let's just get to the story let's let's get to what's going on here but i don't know other than that it was basically just like wish fulfillment in a way too because like it, it's it's a kid who has like no real sort of life he's living in the slums he goes on the VR thing, and he starts making money. And it's great and all, and he, like... He gets his hot VR waifu, which is also neat. I mean, I wish I had a hot VR waifu. But then, like, it turns out she's actually kind of hot IRL. And then, like... He incorporates... You know, actual exercise... And all that into his regimen... And gets fit. He turns from being a fat sack of shit to fit. It's like, okay, you're doing this all at once. Come on, pick one or two. I don't know. I, I just thought he was like, I, I just thought it was like a little indulgent. And while the core story was all right, like, I mean, I know it wasn't, it wasn't really setting out to do anything like in depth or explain or explore like, the themes of a society that has virtual reality of that level at its fingertips. You know, to in there, it's basically still just like a game, you know. At the end of the day, I mean, society is huge into it, but we don't really explore how that really changes the society. Other than, okay, here's your VR contest. If you get to this world, if, if you get to this spot on the world, you make a bajillion dollars, you know? There's no real, there's no competitive VR world. Like, in the real world, we didn't even have, like, the Oculus Rift, when it came out, it, it had already been, like, janked by the Vive, you know? Because, like, for years, the the Rift was what we, was synonymous with VR, but then Lucky Palmer left, Facebook bought it out, and Vi and the Vive beat them on a technological level, you know? And I, I feel like uh, if they had that VR world in the, in the universe, like, what are the chances that they center their, their society on that one app and there's no competitors at all? Y you know, I... Uh, Oh, that it's a it's a laundry hamper, right? But it's got like a little thing on it, so you stick. There's a little dryer mechanism that you stick in it, and it dries the clothes. I think it was very. Yeah, but they presented it like it's the only thing. Like, you have your VR thing just specifically to get into this world. Oh, hey, here we go. And, I, I don't know, there, there were there were a lot of things that I had issue with, like, when I first saw it. And when I first read it. And, like, it's an enjoyable book, don't get me wrong, but it's not, like... I, I don't think it's, like, as good as, like, as a lot of people say it is. Because a lot of people say it's, like super awesome and it's really good and all that but it just don't hit me like that 
It don't hit me like that. But I'm always, I've always been an unusual picky sort of folk. So it could just be me. It could be me that's wrong, not the children. Oh my god, I almost fucking died there. I never saw the movie though. And I would wager that a lot of people probably saw the movie because nobody reads anymore. I mean, like, sometimes people do. Some people do. But the majority of people don't read, which is sad. Because literature is great. But I like to read, and even I don't read as much as I should. I think more people like the book more than the movie. Oh, shoot. I think that's a fair assessment, really. Like, of the people who were, like, hyped up for the movie, I think more people would be like, okay, I liked the book more. But I also think, like, the ma a majority of the people who saw... Ready Player One in one form or the other. The majority would have been, like, the from the movie. You know? A majority would have watched the movie, I should say. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that. Let's see. Oh, hey! Bonfire is got. All right, we're turning everything around now. What's what the hell is out there? Simpleton's ring. How am I going to get that? <laughs> well, at least my souls will be easy to get. <laughs> 